Okay, our next plant, number three, is Umbellularia californica in the Loraceae. That's U-M-B-E-L-L-U-L-A-R-I-A. C-A-L-I-F-O-R-N-I-C-A in the Loraceae, L-A-U-R-A-C-E-A-E. -A -A -E. um, ready? Yeah. All right. Common name for this plant is um, bay laurel, sometimes called California bay. Um, and a couple other common names I can think of are pepperwood. Um, pepper nuts are uh, the little mini avocados that this plant produces. They're edible. I'll tell you a little bit about those in, the, in a bit. Okay. This plant has simple alternate leaves. And um, you can see here, you have one leaf coming off the stem, and then it alternates to the other side. And there's another leaf, and then there's another leaf, and then there's another leaf. These leaves are um, green. Um, on both sides, a little bit paler green on the underside, um, and they are longer than they are wide. Um, they have smooth margins, and the most uh, characteristic thing about this leaf is that when you crush it, it has an extremely strong odor, um, and it smells like um, bay. Um, so makes you think of spaghetti sauce. And um, in fact, you can use this um, leaf in spaghetti sauce. I do it all the time. It's about twice as strong as the European uh, bay leaf. So if you're going to use uh, two leaves in your spaghetti sauce with the, the European bay, you can just use one leaf here with the California, twice as strong. Um, uh, California bay um, has... Um, dark colored bark generally, and um, and it's relatively smooth, can be kind of um, uh, corrugated a little bit. Um, the most characteristic thing about this tree is is um, that when you see it, you often see it growing near uh, streams. It has these long arching stems um, that will sometimes. Um, if you have a lot of them growing, you have this really beautiful effect of um, many, many stems kind of growing in parallel and, and in arching and curving over the stream. Um, but sometimes these trees can get really, really large. Um, I've seen them at the Bear Valley Visitor Center in Point Reyes um, with a diameter that's like, you know, probably three or four people probably couldn't, couldn't could hold hands and couldn't get around it. So the very common tree in the Bay Area. Um, and uh, this is yet another tree that is endemic to the California floristic province. Um, it lives only in California and in extreme Southern Oregon. Um, and it is found in uh, forests, in woodlands, and uh, chaparral, which is a, a habitat we'll be talking about. Um, and yeah, it is... Um, something that we'll see a lot in the Bay Area. And it was a very important tree to uh, native Californians that lived here that, and continue to live here. People continue um, to uh, harvest the little avocado-like uh, fruits that this tree produces that are green. Um, and you can just kind of roast them uh, like on top of the stove in a cast iron pan, um, maybe with a little oil, um, or you can bake them. Um, and uh, they have a very kind of nutty uh, flavor, delicious. Um, you can uh, put them on salads or just have them as an appetizer. Um, and they are just like avocados. They have a lot of healthy fats um, and some protein. Um, and they were a very um, important food uh, for people living here for a long time and continue to be enjoyed by people today. Your California Bay has simple alternate leaves. They are longer than they are wide. Um, glossy green on the top side, a little bit uh, paler green, uh, sometimes even whitish on the underside with a very strong uh, spicy uh, bay odor.